All right, what we're going to take a look at now is mating inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011. This is the easiest to use mating conditions on the market available. Nothing's going to be easier, nothing's going to be faster. Let's take a look. We have one tool that allows us to create a variety of types of constraints or mating conditions within the interface. Autodesk Inventor is easier to use than ever before. It's also the most competitive mating tool on the market to date. So we simply grab our tool. We can remake use of that tool by grabbing um, axis to axis mates, uh, face to face mates, uh, edge to edge mates, edge to face mates, a variety of different types of constraints that we can add within the interface. And it's easily as a, a click of a button. We select um, which axis we want to align to and which axis we want to align from. Everything's completed. Now, the tools also has some intelligence built into it. So, in this example here, I want to go ahead and made up some different types of geometry one cylinder to another and then I also want to go further in depth as far as what types of additional mating considerations I want to make on this component so that things move in relation to each other very easily I can bring up those that mating condition relationship or that mating condition interface and on the fly select the face that I want to mate from and select the cylindrical face I want to mate to and continue to add additional reference mates to this component. So very easy to use inside of Autodesk Inventor 2011. And this is the only interface which makes uh, mating conditions in a complex 3D environment so easy. It's going to make it possible for our customers coming from AutoCAD as well as competitive products to more easily move into the Inventor 2011 interface.